Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I certainly am and I hope you are too. So in today's video, I'm just going to be continuing on with our El Cheapo Ethereum rig um, build. Um, I've already obviously done the build, you would have seen that in a previous video hopefully. Um, and in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you some of the actual details regarding that build. So I just want to go over um, clock speeds, uh, the drivers that I'm using, uh, power consumption, and um, you know the overall sort of uh, operation, things like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of take you uh, by the hand, so to speak. Um, so apologies if the camera is a little bit wobbly. And um, I'll just show you the actual rig. I just want to show you the actual um, operation of it. So let's go and do that now. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll go through that. And then afterwards we'll do a screen capture. And I'll just show you the actual, um, you know, the actual system performance uh, from the actual dashboard itself. Okay, so you can see I'm actually in the uh, home office. This is where I normally do my work, uh, video editing, bits and bobs uh, of that nature. Um, and over in the corner, we have our Ethereum rig. This is the two car rig with the two R7370s on there. So this is the one you would have seen in my previous uh, video builds. So on the left hand side, we have the EVGA 750 GQ power supply. That is really quiet and it's running super cool and uh, super quiet and it uses very little uh, power so I'm really pleased with that. The CPU I've actually unplugged the actual fan on it just because it was making a little bit of a vibration and the CPU is actually idling most of the time anyway so I've just disconnected that. Um, it's still running cool, it'll be running even better uh, once I actually take it um, outside. Um, the actual GPUs obviously we've got two of them that are R7 370s and they are currently wor working away um, they're actually overclocked at the moment. The, I'll tell you about the clock speeds and stuff, uh, everything, um, once I do the actual screen capture, and I'll show you the actual dashboard of everything, everything will make a lot more um, sense. Um, but let me just go in real close, um, just because I want to kind of get you to listen to the actual audio of it, so I'll just be quiet for a second. So the actual operation of this is really quiet and it's also, you know, that's a good indicator because if you've got your fans and stuff working away, it basically means that the whole system is running hot and the fans are trying to cool it down. So having a cool, quiet um, rig is really um, quite awesome. Uh, I'll just show you the actual power consumption now. So this is a power lead, obviously it goes all the way around and then into the power supply. And the actual power consumption is, um, yeah, about 290 watts, ticking over just a little bit there. What I'll do is I'll probably test it for like a 24 hour period and then I'll get a good base average but that's kind of in the ballpark it's actually been in um, in any case. Um, and like I say the actual uh, graphics cards are currently um, overclocked as well. So that is really great uh, power consumption, I'm really pleased with that. Okay so what I'll do now is I'll jump to the actual dashboard and I'll show you the other details that were actually... Okay so we're just on the Mac now and I've just uh, logged in via TeamViewer to our El Cheapo Ethereum mining rig. So that's what you can see in front of you on the screen. So on the left hand side we have this um, command window here and this is actually Claymore's dual Ethereum and Creed miner. I'm running it in what they call mode 1 which means it's only mining Ethereum and we're currently getting, it's just popped up and down to where I've actually logged in and uh, affected the actual display but it's been running just under 30 mega hash per second closer to 29.5 mega hash per second so that's really good performance I think possibly with a little bit of uh, tweaking in the future I might be able to get it a little bit higher but that's the performance at the moment if you're wondering why I'm not also mining the Creed at the same time when I've done a initial test I found that the dual mining was slowing down the Ethereum mining and that's really what I want to focus on um, at the moment I'll probably do some more tests in the future and get them both running um, side by side just it makes it more uh, efficient use of the actual hardware. So now if I go to the MSI Afterburner just to show you the actual details there. The drivers that I'm using is the 1512 drivers. If you're actually having difficulty uh, looking or finding those, if you go back through the AMD Radeon drivers um, site, the official website, you might find them listed under Windows 8.1 rather than Windows 10. I did initially try the most recent Crimson drivers, which I think were 16, 
um, six three or something like that. There was the most uh, recent drivers, and they literally just released um, a couple of weeks ago. I didn't really notice any performance um, benefits or gains uh, between the two drivers. With the Claymore's um, software, they actually recommend specifically using the uh, 1512 drivers, and that's what I'm currently using. That's probably going to get the best um, overall basis for stability and performance. Um, but like I said, I did try those newer drivers as well as, um, but I didn't really notice um, any performance gains. So with regards to clock speeds, the both cards are currently overclocked. What I've done is um, I've set the power limit to plus 10%. The core clock speeds on both cards is 1150 and the memory clock on both cards is 1500. The current sort of fan speed, I've just let it set to um, auto. The cards are not really running uh, very hot at all and they're actually very uh, quite cool. So the fan speed is going up to about 30% and that's getting the uh, GPUs you'll see on the slightly right hand side there to just under 70 degrees, so 67, 68 and the other cards running about 65 so sometimes you get a little bit of a variance there so both cards are overclocked um, they're running at you know very low fan speeds and they're running pretty cool as well so i'm really pleased with that i'll just show you the actual if i uh, reset it uh, these are just the uh the standard core clock speeds and with these i think the temperatures were around the same and the performance I think was running at about 27 mega hashes, 26 mega hashes, that kind of ballpark figure. So these are the standard clocks, 1030 and 1400. But I've been overclocking it for I think it's about two days now and not really had any issues um, at all. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that overall. Uh, let me just move these sliders. You can probably possibly go a little bit higher with the actual uh, clock speeds. These are just the ones that are kind of like, they call them like the official um, overclocking limits. You can actually untick that box and you can take them higher. And that's something that I might experiment with uh, in the future. And that is, I think about it. I think that's kind of all the information that you wanted to know. So we're getting just under 30 mega hashes. Um, the core uh, clock speeds you've got there. The driver's 1512 and the power usage is about 290 watts. So that's kind of the uh, the overall characteristics um, of it. What I'll probably do in future videos is I'll test another version of the uh, Ethereum miner. I'll try the uh, Genoil uh, Ethereum miner and just check the performance. But on my other rigs, the Claymore's one did work a little bit faster, but I'll just double check it um, because these are a new uh, chipset uh, card design. Um, so there might be some performance gains there as well, um, but I'll let you know um, accordingly. Okay, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to kind of keep it um, to the point and just share these few other details with you. Um, a few people were asking me in the comments and stuff like that. So if you have any more questions, um, yeah, just ask them and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Yeah, until next time, thanks for watching. Take care.